Quantic Media. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. Crap. You have 12x's for days, man. I'm about to switch. On Sniper Hill, but you guys can't kill the guys right underneath it. Oh, they're, oh, whoa, whoa, B, they're B. at B. Where did he come from? I don't know where you came from, though. Oh, shit, they are. B. I'm down. Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm not going to do that. Should be 2142 here with Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the PC. Playing with the Quantic Media team. Right now, that being the Russian Badger, Mass Death, and Spec Ops Delta. Also in the Skype call. But not the squad is Patwa and of course a DJ, one of the biggest battlefield boosts in the game. So my squad is gonna take off and they're gonna go do whatever. So I'm gonna take the UAV, which is kind of fun. Typically on the UAV, I will go either zoom at this stage or my default is usually the alt fire to get the machine gun with the right click. However, I'm using Warhead, which really helps me out. Now, the reason why I use Warhead on this map is because in case I spawn inside the chopper I'm really not that good of a chopper gunner I'm trying to stay on the outside of the map so I'll float back in without uh, getting my UAV blown up so it's not really a big deal but the, the Blackhawk gunner I'm just not used to it it seems like I get crazy hit markers even with warhead and it doesn't kill anyone now that's kind of frustrating being a Battlefield 2 player where on Master Tour City you could basically just fly around the, the Black Hawk, aka the Whore Hawk, and essentially if someone is even in the vicinity of your bullets, like if they're breathing the air that your bullets fly through, they die. Now I know it was nerfed in Battlefield 2 after a while, but honestly, it's still pretty crazy. I think I got some kind of a kill streak, like 63 kills in a row, which isn't the fact like, but Shibe, you really good. No, it was just the minigun on the Blackhawk was very overpowered, and my friend, who I think might have been over at my house at the time, I think we were landing. Well, that's not really a land at that point, but whatever. Um, he was piloting, so he would favor me on whatever side of the chopper I was on. So, like, hey, I'm on the right side of the gun, so basically he would just circle around, so I would always have the shots. Which, obviously isn't fair for the other person on the other gun, but... Everyone was getting crazy points. I mean, there's people resupplying because there's always dudes throwing nades out of the side of the chopper. There's always an engineer who is repairing. And it's basically just a flying base. So, if you've ever used the overpowered Blackhawk in Battlefield 2, please let me know because much respect to that. It was a ton of fun. There wasn't any uh, crazy skilled players with the AT4. Guys, I don't even think that was in the game. That would just take you out. Like, uh, happens in this game all the time. One of the more famous players with that is Heisey85, who basically just dominates anyone who is in the air by himself. It is very frustrating. Right now, I am rolling with DJ and the Bradley, which is the armor piece that the attackers get on this map. One thing that is very annoying as Gunner is the muzzle flash from the driver using the main cannon. My question to you, the viewer, if you have any military experience, I want to know, is this realistic? Or is there some kind of technology that would really cut down on that? I'm curious because it just seems like it almost hurts. It's a pain to be the gunner because of whatever settings I'm running or whatnot. So I want to know, is the muzzle flash really that crazy in real life? I'm kind of curious. We do get killed by an AT mine, which is uh, disappointing because usually we're very good about that. Not really sure if it was on the road or if a guy just kind of tossed it next to us and it blew up, which does happen often. Spawn in on one of the guys in my squad and just get dominated right away. This is kind of a choke point if 
the enemies are dispersed in this rocky area and typically the attackers should not be shooting up the cover here because they need it. A map such as Port Valdez Rush, um, no, if you've seen my six piece video with Badger and Slow Mo, probably one of my favorite quotes of all time right now. So feel free to check that out. I'm not sure if I'll link it in the video description, but feel free to check out my channel. I have that available, a little minute 30 montage, not quite, but a little frag movie. I don't even know what to call it, but it's pretty amusing. And let's see here. I'm going to spawn in, and this random player is kindly waiting for me, so big shout out to him. He seems like he knows what he's doing in the pilot seat. And I'm not really sure how this life plays out. Oh, <laughs> his name is Space Docker. Now, <laughs> feel free to Urban Dictionary what that means. My roommate, sophomore year of college, told me that, and it's kind of a running joke between us now. Like, we'd be uh, talking about some of the girls we know, and look at all those Q spots. That's just crazy. Like, I just kind of aimed in the middle there and hit Q. Kind of like Battlefield 3 Alpha, that. 3D spotting is just crazy stupid. And I think he gets shot out, that being a space docker. So back to my story that it would just be kind of a running joke between uh <laughs> uh yeah. Running joke between me and some of the girlfriends we had that we'd just be like, STFU girl, go space dock. So <laughs> Oh man, that's kind of just a random story right there. Yep. And what am I talking about here? Oh, yeah, there was some naughty language in the chat, which I guess it's a server option if you want to filter that or not. Probably should be, although the soldiers do swear quite often. It's annoying to see that kind of stuff. Right now I'm using the VSS uh, Super Sexy, which I've made probably three or four videos on. Actually, that's not true. More like two or three. So feel free to check those out because those are some of uh, my fan favorites. The VSS Super Sexy and Flying High Like a G3. Now, the VSS for me completely sucks at long range. In some points in time, just because the, the burst fire with it when you're trying to shoot is so wonky. While not, it's not burst fire, but it's full auto, but obviously you have to burst fire at range. And it seems like it does whatever it wants. Now, at medium to close range, this gun is awesome. It is pretty amusing. So if you've never given it a try, go ahead. Go run around on Oasis or Arika or Erica Harbor, however you want to say it. Pretty fun. Once again, DJ having the armor. That's how he do. He rolled armor, and that's the kind of a style. So I'm kind of scanning the road, hopefully for no AT mines. But it's kind of hard when the road has been blown apart because you can put an AT mine in one of the holes. And it's a little bit better disguised if you ax me, dog. If you ax me. I want to know, question the viewers, that's kind of question number two. That, do you guys remember on this map, there was a glitch where if you shot the fence by this point that is still up. I believe that's either point, I think it's point A. So point B is up right now, but point A house. If you shot the wood fence right in the front of the house, that the whole thing would collapse. Now, it was a bug or a glitch, but it was pretty awesome that you could pretty much take it out before this whole stage even starts. As in, you're still finishing off the first stage, but if you're good enough with aim or you get the right bullet drop, you can collapse the house pretty much instantly. It's pretty easy with the Blackhawk because Blackhawk does work on a lot of structures in this game. And I'm pretty much pinned down here. Really not helping me out that the VSS is sucking. Some games it's awesome, some games it blows. Like what is that? How did I not get a kill there? I thought it looked like a guy's head if not, I don't know. So this is pretty embarrassing but I'm not gonna fast forward it because it's part of the game. Things happen, not always perfect. Gonna switch kits here to a trusty MG36. My favorite medic gun, a lot of people think it's overpowered, so if you think it's overpowered, give me a like. If you think it's underpowered, give me a favorite, but if you use the MG36 anyway, give me a like and a favorite really helps me out. Now, that is another style video that I do, the Really Helps Me Out series, that is now a show on YouTube. I am the proud owner of that, so uh, 
If you want to laugh, obviously I am joking when I say that. And it's funny because people take it, are you serious, dog? Are you serious? No, not really. Kind of a joke, but it is fun to do. Try to talk really fast, and obviously I cannot do that in one take. I don't think anyone could because I am just throwing down a lot of words real quick. But Shibe, why are you talking so much about yourself? What am I going to really tell you that's going to change the game? Change how you play this battlefield. Battlefield Bad Companies 2. The Baddie Field. B-A-D-D-I-E. Honestly, what? Aim down the sights and burst fire? Ah, everyone knows that. So right now, this is called the boathouse or docks area. Trying to take cover. Pretty decent uh, hideout if you're attacking this base, if you want to see do up. There's a little jump spot if you hit the rock right, you kind of fly up there. Which is pretty amusing, but half the time, such as my good friend Mass Death, typically to suicides, and I LOL, I chuckle to myself. This is a pretty fun objective to take because of the metal fencing that you can shoot through. And with the 3D spotting, I mean, personally, I'm a 3D spot whore. If I see that triangle go up, and I know there might be little to no cover there, I'm shooting. I'm putting the bullets on there regardless, just because typically it ends up in my favor as a kill. And that's one thing that I hope in Battlefield 3 they get sorted out, because right now, if you, once again, axe me dog, it's uh, not fun or balanced. I'm going to digress for a second and say that right now, I'm really getting into the Twitter scene. It is quite fun. I know I was a hater before I actually tried it and tried to follow my friends and my media team and other cool gamers and news sources. I don't know, I just thought like, oh my god, Twitter's for losers, but really I enjoy it a ton. It's an easy way to connect with fans. If they give me a at shibby2142 such as a question, I will see that and then I can respond to them without filling up my feed. So if, say, Sergeant Enigma sends me at shibby2142, hey Shibs, you know, what are you doing tonight? I can reply to him and no one else will see that unless they are following both me and him. So it's really cool and convenient and pretty awesome. So if you have not checked out Twitter, I suggest it. And if you really just hate Twitter, I'm not going to try and sell you on it, but it's kind of fun and there's a lot of people to follow. Once again, pretty cool. I've talked about this in other videos, but my bread and butter, that's what I'm going to call it, my medic class, is the MG36. Now, Shibs, why do you like that weapon? Is it because it's OP? Well, honestly, it was not OP until competition people started using it, because it was all about the M60 until that got nerfed, and then the T88 LMG, in my opinion, was the next best. And then I started using this MG36, and especially with Magnum Ammo. And another reason why is the scope. I just love the scope on it. The recoil is super manageable. Right now, repairing DJ because the chopper's flying around, so I'm positioning myself to hopefully not get splash damage. I did take damage there, so I jumped out. Get out to repair. That's kind of a win-win because that way I don't die, and I let my repair tool get back from being overheated, so cool down. There you go. So, another little quick tip. Everyone knows this, but just throwing it out there that if your buddy is driving and driving the armor, gunning, all that good stuff, shooting them up, shooting them up, shooting the dice, you should really go engineer because it really makes that whole armor combination like 300% more efficient. I feel that way. I know if you team up, especially with like a tank, and just wrench behind, you can get a lot of stuff done. Now I know DJ is going to push up into their base here, I'm going to jump out because I typically don't like playing the base straight up. This is the last stage here on uh, Innocentes. Really does not help him out when the armor rolls in there and just dies instantly because it feels like the defenders have a lot of nice positions just to get rockets on it. I'm going to get a nice little AT4 shot there. Nothing wrong with that curve that inside the house if you want to watch that again through the window pretty sweet if you ask me dog to follow up that AT4 snipe in the house why not take down a helicopter now I am not very good at the AT4 I am still learning 
is pretty amusing because the skill ceiling on this weapon is so high you can get to the point where you can hit anything basically without even looking you just have that spidey sense like high c85 has it almost looks like he's hacking but he's not i mean i play with him all the time so i know he's legit so if you have not seen that video i believe it's on the quantic media channel something to the tune of Heisey is a little hacker or something like that. The Russian Badger being the squad leader, that's quote unquote, which once again I'm super excited that's returning in Battlefield 3, which is common knowledge. That squad leader role, having people spawn on you and trying to stay alive, I am once again very excited for that. I like playing that position where I don't push up right away, I have my squad mates do that for me and then I kind of pick off guys and provide a spawn point. Right now, me and Mass Death, if you have not checked out Mass Death's videos, you should. He's an awesome player and an awesome person in general. Channel is Abin Horson. So just type in Mass Death in the search and you'll find it. I'm going to try and pick off a few guys. Now, should I have alerted everyone that we're here? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Pretty clutch here because Mass goes down. I'm going to revive him. I go down. He takes him out. He's going to revive me. But, oh my god, Shibs, don't revive me, bro. In this case, you want to revive me, bro, because if you steal their helicopter here, especially if you stay up long enough, you have that stamina, you know what I'm talking about, son, you can really just destroy everyone. And I am using, once again, the Warhead perk, which is very nice, because in this case, alt fire would not be helping me out. Armor perk, or spec, would not be helping me out. Using the smoke, I don't believe I can actually activate that as a gunner. So, also not helping me out. Zoom, no point because we're just right over their base. So Warhead is clearly the best option here. I have heard that the reload was also a good choice, but I think that got nerfed in some patch where it used to be like a viable option, but not anymore. Oh my God, Shibby, did my computer freeze? No, I just want to pause the video so I can give you some live callouts. So I'm gonna kind of give you my sign off here. My channel is Shibby2142. I suggest come checking me out. I do a variety of games, variety of videos, variety of styles, pretty much everything. It's really just a big buffet and we all hang out. I think I'm a pretty cool guy, but oh, that's just me. So I'm a little biased. Anyways, guys, thank you for viewing the video. I will see you next time, hopefully. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me for a little bit. Enjoy the rest of the video. I will see you next time. And if you want to come check out my channel, that'd be awesome. All right, B's going to go down. Go, fail. Yep. Parachute okay, grenade uh, at me. He's clear, he's clear, don't worry. I'm in. G nice. 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 Nice job. Awesome rush, guys. 999 nine, nine ping, get your game up. <laughs> yeah, what's with your internet, Pat? I don't know. I left and got back in just because of you that. You did that to me a while ago. I just couldn't play that night. It just <laughs> stayed. Bad ping. <laughs> STFU, GG. <laughs> right, that was pretty yeah. sweet. Good piloting mass. It's Top a 1.0 KD up, baby. Top squatting like a oh, boss. You like that one KD, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you and you, dude. We both have the same damn KD. <laughs> Top <laughs> and bottom of the team. That's <laughs> 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 what it is. Oh, yeah. Should be with a 3.0. Uh, that's all mass right there. That's all you being a boss. Uh, I, I missed a few shots. It could have been higher. <laughs> That's a beautiful sequence with the chopper. No, but though. Warhead makes all the difference, though. Yeah, Holy it does. cow! Mm -hmm. It really does.